Here we go, here we go. We got, this is from Ben Brennan. Um, this is a character, all right, guys, called, you, you might want to write this down. It's called Delta Von Tussle, all right? And uh, Delta, after an unusual head injury, can only speak in rhyming couplets. <laughs> <laughs> so good luck with that. It's probably, again, it's going to be Harry, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> all I want to know is what I can do to help, sir. There's only one man that can help her, Samson. One man out there in the wilds. He knows all about the monster. He's faced a monster once before. <laughs> You'll have to go out. Find this man. He has no name. I will only see answer by a whistle. <laughs> he will only watch her? Answer by a whistle, like this. <laughs> no, wait, my lips were dry. <laughs> wait, wait. Pause! Pause! <laughs> Everything about HR is ludicrous and, <laughs> and totally unhelpful. Hard to tell what he's saying. Then when he does say something, he can't deliver on the thing he said he'll do. But yeah, we learn about this man with no name. And of course, it's all going to point back. It's all going to point back to Ben Steve, who we saw at the beginning of the movie. Play. A whistle. That's a fine whistle you got there, sir. But, sir, I'm scared. I don't want to leave you on your own. I'll be fine, Samson. But, sir, I would... I would never forgive myself if I left and something happened to you and, and all that you've built, sir. Samson, if anything happens to me, I want you to take over this business. Oh, my God. All right. You watch my back, I'll watch yours. And we'll watch both of each other's fronts. That's right. All right. Ah! Ah! Yeah, we were teleported. Do you know how to whistle? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> what I enjoy about this scene a lot is the floating fingers <laughs> <laughs> behind them. Have a look at this, play. <laughs> Here. <laughs> In a graveyard of some sort. I'll whistle, maybe that'll do something. <whistles> oh! Oh! <laughs> oh! No need to be angry, no need to grieve. Hello, Steve. Oh, it's Ben. Pause. <laughs> Pause. Oh my God. Yeah, this is obviously the man who speaks in rhyming couplets, and that, and they were looking at a man who's obviously spent a long time thinking about what rhymes with Steve, only to be reminded that his name is Ben. Play. Your name is Ben. Let's do that again. No need to be angry, no need to grieve. Tis I, the man with no name, Ben. <laughs> pause, pause, sorry to interrupt again. But remember from the beginning, he actually does have a name. That name was suggested on Twitter, so he's gonna remember that name. And also, we're gonna discover why his legs have gone. Play. How did you know? How did I know? How did I know? A good question indeed. I'm so sorry I got your name wrong, Steve. Ben. It's Ben. That's right. There's one thing that I must say, and it's important that you know. I only speak through couple. Couple? <laughs> what is, what is, what is? Uh, what is, what is couple? Couple is a rhyme, and I'll say it again. My name is the man with no name. Nahem. <laughs> Colin was telling me about this guy. He was telling me about an ancient Ikea language, couple. Oh, this is all news to me, but it sounds like you know what you're doing. Well, it's Colin. Colin knew everything. And Colin's dead. You look like you could use some advice. Well, I'll tell you something extra special nice. <laughs> <laughs> He's obviously giving himself a lot of time to think of these rhymes. So I'm surprised they are not significantly better than spice and nice and the word couple that didn't rhyme with the previous word either. Also, what is his name? His name is not the man with no name. It was suggested on Twitter. Play. I've said it once and I'll say it again. I straight out refuse to tell you my name. And that's not because I can't remember. It's because I forgot in early December. <laughs> <laughs> That you leave me out of it, huh? Hey, Char. <laughs> I haven't been here for years. 
Samson, my sacred's feeling A-OK. -okay. Uh, prepare my ring later. So, the man with no name. Or should I say, <laughs> Dita Von <Tees? laughs> oh! We go way back <laughs> to Vegas. Sir, I have a question for you. Mm. You sent me on this quest with the boy, <laughs> yeah. but you're here now. I got what was the point, sir? Because I wanted us to get together in the woods. We're not in the woods! <laughs> We're in the desert! Ah! <laughs> We've come too far! <laughs> Bunties, how could you let this happen? Listen, this is the oh. man's. There are reasons three. The first <laughs> is because he's very good at archery. The second is because he has power unbridled. The third is that there is a big rival, and the rival, more important than silver or myrrh, is the monster of flat pack furniture. That's right. Bunty's men at once. Where did he go? <laughs> oh, God. We I get disappeared! No! <laughs> and I'll say it again. Good luck, Ben. Got my name right. <laughs> he always make me introduce him as no name because of the whole reveal thing, I'm sorry. All right, let's get quickly back to Ikea. You need to kill the flat pack monster. But, but how? I mean, he didn't tell us how we could kill it, but... Archery! <laughs> oh my God, he disappeared again. Archery. Maybe he means that I should use my archery skills against the monster. I think that's exactly what he means. You'd free generations of HR if you did. Oh, I don't know. I, I haven't done archery in a long time. Why not? Well, because I've been working so hard at Ikea to raise money to enter the World Championships with Helen. Helen. I'm sorry. I don't mean to blurt, but I'm leaving because my legs are starting to hurt. <laughs> <laughs> That's front teeth for you. A real leg tease. Come on, Samson. Let's get back to the office. All right. All right. Hey, wait up! <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> right! <laughs> I'm getting really cross with this movie now because 40 minutes have gone by and it still isn't about anything. They went on a quest. They went on a quest to speak to a man who could barely rhyme. And all he told them was that he was good at archery and he knew that before. And I'm pretty sure what Helen meant was he was good at slingshot anyway in the first place. He said archery. So that's the way we take the monster down. But you don't have to do it, oh! Ah! Ah! Apologies! There's something I forgot. This magical slingshot. <laughs> wow. So not archery. <laughs> All right, then. Slingshot and archery. You put an Both arrow in it. <laughs> All right. An arrow in the slingshot. But, but listen, you two, if you don't mind me saying, don't look like archery types. No. I'm more of a polo man. I play Marjan. No. Right. John. Introducing Delta Von Tassel, the man with no name. <laughs> Delta! I need your help more than ever. I followed your advice. I used the archery. Okay. I used the magic slingshot, but everybody's pause, dead. Of course. I am sorry to interrupt again, but I have to say. Why did they have to go on a quest to meet Delta when Delta seems so, so keen on coming to them quite frequently? <laughs> My God, he better have something useful that moves us on. Play. Another piece of advice. Maybe one more than you deserve. <laughs> did you get the advice about the jar of preserve? Yes. Yes, I did, but I need to find them. Okay. On to piece of advice number two. Your slingshot is magic, but maybe it's time to find the magic in you. 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 That was Delta Von Tassel, <laughs> the man with no name. He said my slingshot was magic. Introducing <laughs> Delta Von Tassel, <laughs> the man with no name. You're back. Yes, tis I, back again to say. <laughs> words of wisdom, so heed them, I say. Can you remember the piece of advice I just gave you? Because that piece of advice is glisteningly true. <laughs> 
That was Delta Von Tassel, <laughs> the man with no name. <laughs> okay. Introducing what? the no. Lord. <laughs> He has another incredible <laughs> sequence of rhymes now. I just want to speak very quickly to um, to Tyler Mann. Tyler Mann, give me a little wave. Tyler Mann. <laughs> Howdy. Howdy, Tyler Mann in Canada. What I want you to do is obviously he's going to rhyme some words. We've obviously learned that this guy is a highly skilled rhymer. Can you think of one <laughs> of the words that he rhymes something with? Uh, flam. Fla <laughs> flam. <laughs> Flam, fantastic, yes, we'll take that. And now let's ask someone else in the audience. Let's go back to our thing. Um, Stephanie, Stephanie Rogers. Stephanie Rogers, give us a little wave when you've stopped kind of laughing. Stephanie, um, I remember you saying that you are, a, you told me earlier, you're a neuroscientist. Um, give me a complicated word from deep within your mind and brain that, that, that he's going to do some rhyming with. We've got flab, and what's another word in this poem? Amygdala. Amygdala, fantastic. Amygdala. Oh my God, I'm looking forward to this. Thank you very, very much, guys. And we're going to go back to the film now for the fine, maybe it's the final piece of advice, although I imagine it might not be, but some rhyming, including the word flam and amygdala. Amygdala, I believe, is the thing that gives you a sense of guilt or shame. So if you're a psychopath, maybe your amygdala doesn't work so well. Is that right, Stephanie? It doesn't matter, we'll find out if I'm smart another time, I'm probably wrong. <laughs> Play! Flam, 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 flam. Now is the time for you to become a man. You have a feeling like the tightening of a sphincter. <laughs> well, that's probably just the feeling of amygdala. Thank you. That was Delta Von Tassel, <laughs> the man with no name. <laughs> Self-managed. <laughs> Thank you for everything, Delta. <laughs> Here I am again! And I don't think it's too far to tell you that I'm a registered vicar. <gasps> Delta, oh my God. Marry us right now! I will marry you now, and I also will say that it can be an awful lot of fun Talking in couplet. <laughs> you are now married. Congratulations. I hope you have a lot of fun. <laughs> Look, Helen. The sun's rising over IKEA. You can hear the voice of God. Oh, Hello. Oh, oh, oh. God. I am. Well, we asked you to reveal yourself to us, and you have. Reveal yourself to us. Reveal yourself. God. Oh. Please let this mortal live. He did not deserve to die. Bring him back to us, Lord. I'm very busy. But, but Lord, but... you put it in your diary, I think. Yes, correct. Pause, pause. And if you have been watching all week, you will know this is the chance for this man, the Lord, <laughs> to redeem himself. <laughs> all he simply has to do is name all the characters <laughs> who are present at the scene and all shall be mended and Celeste and Penelope shall be heroes, not just of the convent, but of the town itself. Play. Good point, Celeste. And, that's what... and Penelope, I enjoy the scarf. You're Paper. welcome. I knitted it myself for you. Paper enforcer! You must change your ways. I shall, my lord. Father of the protagonist in the story in many ways. <laughs> God damn it! Pause, pause! Totally wrong! Totally wrong! Celeste is the protagonist, and also he has a name! He has a name! Play. Come on, father, you must know me. Your name! And all names from this day forth <laughs> shall be <laughs> true. <laughs> that I was see. Delta Von Tassel, <laughs> the man with no name. Pause, pause. What I hope, what 
my hope is out of most of the 8,000. Do you understand what that means? Well, I'm sure some of you don't. Delta Van Tassel was an absolute tragedy in a shambles from two nights ago. Which I believe was the night that Harry Kershaw, our actor, lost his dignity and pride. <laughs> but we go back to the movie now for the final couple of minutes. Play. <laughs> 